Hey, Traveling Mike here, and finally back out into the cemetery because it's warming up again. So uh, we're out here at Pleasant Hill Cemetery in Nolanville, Texas, and I have about six requests for grave photos. So uh, come along and we'll see what we can find out here. And I've never been to the cemetery before, so we might find something interesting out here. I have a couple of uh, newer headstones I'm looking for and uh, probably about four of them that are fairly old. So we are gonna look around and see what we have out here. I'm in the older section right now to start with. Well, I am looking for Mashburn, a Matthew Nelson. Um, and this one has one, but the dates are wrong. This is 1864 to 1950. It is, but what I'm looking for is a Matthew Mash burn from 1838 to 1872. So, uh, this one could be probably his son, maybe, but I'll keep on looking because here's another Mash burn, it may still be in the cemetery somewhere else. Here's another uh, close one, an Emily Parker, which is who I'm looking for, but uh, this one's the wrong dates also, so this might be their, uh, might be a daughter, possibly a mother, I'm not sure, yeah, probably a mother. So we'll keep looking for the right Emily. Uh, here's some new ones up here. Don't look like what I'm looking for yet. Here's some of the older ones. This one, you can see the gates of heaven open with the star representing Jesus. This one, if you can see it, has a dove at the top for peace and it says at rest also with the uh, gates of heaven open. It also has, if you can see up here in the top, they got anchors, which stands for steadfastness. And then this one, has only sleeping and also the gates of heaven open and this one has a bunch of flowers and we have a, some of the some more pulpit ones over here also with the uh, gates of heaven gates to heaven open and you've got the book of life up on top so Same thing with this one, with the gates of heaven open and the dove for peace. And this one has a book of life right in the middle of it here. Some more of the older ones right in here. It's a little handmade one. And here's one that's a world-class cowboy and he's got several rocks on top, which stands that for people visiting the grave. Here's one that's broken, but it's put together down here on the ground, has the hands shaking goodbye. Here's a nice one. The column has the Book of Life up on the top. Also, you have the roses, which stands for eternal love. And then you got the pall over the uh, top of the column, which stands for mortality. So that one says for mama, wife of J.W. Evans. Here's some more older ones. One has been fixed down at the bottom. This one with the hand saying goodbye, shaking goodbye. This one has the dove with the olive branch for peace. This is an infant. This little section here has 
several of uh, just unknown markers. There's a Woodman of the World. But there, lily at the bottom, you got the vines going up. There's some interesting headstones here. This one has the uh, columns with the name and the archway, and then you have the uh, rose at the top, but it's just a bunch of florals. And here's a couple of nice ones too. This one has um, the gates of heaven open. And if you look at the top, it has an anchor, which stands for steadfastness. And then you have this one with the uh, angel at the cross. It says Rock of Ages on it, so. I see another section of Parkers here. Let me see if any of these match who we're looking for. Don't see any offhand. All right, I checked this section out and didn't have much luck. A lot of close ones, but not quite. So we're gonna head over this way to this next section and see what we find there. I guess there's some royalty out here in the country cemetery. This one has in loving memory of our great grandmother, Mary Etheridge Wilkinson, daughter of Lady, Lord and Lady Etheridge from Yorkshire, England. You don't see that in the country very often. There's a couple of old headstones that have, uh, this one has the dub for peace We've also got the lamb for innocence. It says it's the wife of uh, Mr. French, but uh, it looks like she's only 20 years old. So um, they have symbols for like purity and innocence. Here's some interesting headstones here. From the 1800s, got the bird for peace. There's a mason. That one's shaking hands goodbye. Over here is a really interesting obelisk. Really good detail with the uh, rose, which is eternal love. The acorn uh, stands for new life. And the little daisies stand for um, innocence. And it has in it, uh, see it's got a uh, little girl that's only five. A little boy looks like only three years old. And another one that looks like uh, the mother, I think, yes. But that was really detailed with the Paul on the top also. And here's one for a wife that, or a husband that was says gone too soon. another couple of old large headstones out here that have the gates of heaven open the dove for peace and it says at rest Got another one with the same thing and it also has the anchors on top um, as well as that one that has anchors on the top too it shows their steadfastness in the faith this one has I'm trying to read see what that is it's a uh, I think it's a somebody holding flowers putting flowers on a grave I think that's what it is it's kind of difficult to see but it's a young person looks like only about seven years old so and then this one has a wreath and just just has a death date, so it's uh, probably an infant, maybe. Some more unknown ones. Yep, 
here's another one of the French and they've got the hands shaking goodbye. Here's an infant down here that has the lamb. Also another one. And this one you have, you have the flower that has the broken bud, which means a life cut short. Over here is a couple of uh, headstones, one with the uh, book of life on top, got the gates of heaven open. And then you also have one here with the hand pointing to heaven. And another infant with a dove of peace. And here's a Dallas Cowboy fan. It's a tall, skinny column with the Book of Life on top. And another little column. These are all part of the Cox family. This cemetery was uh, started in 1855 when one of the local settlers was buried out here on the Fleming and Mary Cox Ranch. So uh, there's a lot of Coxes out here. Actually, a lot of these are family plots because you see a lot of the same surnames out here. Here's a little iron headstone for a, an infant, it appears. On the back, you can, you can see it in the light. It has a bird, but it does have an unknown, so they can't even read the front of the, of the uh, headstone. Here's some more coxes. Here's a little infant headstone. I guess it was only three years old. Uh, and it has on it uh, a little flower of love that blossomed but to die. Transplanted now above to bloom with God on high. That's pretty cool. Here's a little double headstone of infants. There's a couple of masons. This one's a minister, and it has the Bible and the Mason symbol. Here's a uh, Confederate Army uh, soldier from um, 1824 to 1898, and there's a sprot. There's a lot of sprots in this cemetery. These, these two monuments here are for uh, Fleming and Mary Cox, the uh, owners of the land here that started the cemetery. And this one over here on this side is Fleming. And it has a little saying on the bottom, it says, a loving husband, a fallen deer, a father deer, let me start over. A loving husband, a father dear, a faithful friend is buried here. Here's a couple of the Cox family. And you can see they've got their little pictures. It's really pretty. And most of this whole section right around in here is almost all Coxes. So it's a pretty large family out here. All right, I just completed the largest section and didn't have much luck finding things in there. Uh, a lot of family names and they're all in there together. So uh, we've got one section right over here and we're gonna look at that then I'll maybe whiz through real quick and see if there's anything else that maybe I can find. Okay, I have uh, found one and it's a um, Drexel Tombs and this is his headstone here. They have not got the date of death yet, which is uh, 710 of, 19, of 2020. Also, yeah. So uh, I'll take a picture of this and 
send that to the family. Here's a nice one that's got a picture of them from way back in, uh, looks like probably the 20s. Here's a couple of headstones that have uh, the uh, palm fronds on them, which stands for victory. Alright, let me speak up. I'm not sure how my mic is doing out here because the batteries went dead, but uh, out here in the back corner of the cemetery is uh, the Watkins, which is one of them I'm looking for. It's a um, Doris Jean Watkins and doesn't have her uh, date of death on here either, uh, 411 of 23. But there's the spot. I'll take a picture and send that to the family. Here's an interesting headstone. It has the boots and the cowboy hat. Here's one who I guess likes his Corvette. And here's a nice horse. Okay, this last section I just went through was pretty small. It was mostly newer ones. And I've only found two, which actually were newer ones. So I'm gonna kind of whip through the older section. The only ones I'm looking for are some of the older graves. So I'm gonna check them out real quick. And if not, that may be about it for the cemetery today. Okay, I think that's gonna do it for today out here in the cemetery. I've walked pretty much everywhere and been able, unable to find a few of these. I did find two out of the six to notify their families. And uh, thanks for coming out to the cemetery again. Now that it's nice, I should be able to get out a little more often. I found some interesting things in here. So uh, until next time, like and subscribe and I'll see you then.